Welcome to the Drone vs. Simulator lesson. Now in this lesson, we're going to look at the difference between launching code on our actual drone and launching code in the simulator. There's a subtle difference and we're going to cover that. So on the stage, you can see we have a takeoff and land block. Now don't worry, we cover block coding in all its glory in a later part of this lesson. For now, just be aware that this takeoff and land block will make the drone take off and land. So we're going to launch this in the simulator and then I'm going to launch this on the drone just so you can see how the two systems work because that's one of the coolest things about the Drone Blocks Crazy Fly app. We've got both a block coding app for the drone and a simulator built into one app. So here we have takeoff and land on the left and on the right we have a virtual classroom or the simulator. So first thing you'll notice that I have a big launch simulator button up here and I also have a connect button up here. Now what I'm going to do is just click on launch simulation and watch what happens. The drone spins up, takes off, and it lands. Amazing. Now I think that code is so cool, I'd love to run that on my actual crazy fly in the classroom. So to do so, I click on this tab over here, or this little arrow, that will collapse my simulator, and watch what happens to this launch simulation button when I do that. So I can't click on launch drone, it's great art, but I can click on connect. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on connect and I'm going to be prompted with this Crazy Fly app wants to pair. I'm now going to turn on my Crazy Fly drone. It's now saying Crazy Fly dash paired. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to place this down on my floor. And you'll notice it now says disconnect. And now I just have to click on launch drone. So I'll click on launch drone. Uh, amazing, and it says mission completed successfully. I'm just going to disconnect. I'm just going to now pull up the tab. One thing to point out is if I connect to the drone while I'm in simulation mode, see it says connected, drone connected successfully. Clicking on launch simulation will launch the simulation. My drone just sits there. My drone will only activate if I click on this tab or this button over here to collapse the simulator and then I click on launch drone. So let's bring my simulator back. Let's disconnect. And there you have it, the subtle difference on how to send code to the drone versus how to run the code in the simulator. And that takes us to the end of section one, the introduction section. So just a quick recap. You got a course overview. You learned about the course requirements. You learned how to access the app. And now you've learned how to send code to the simulator and how to send code to the drone which means you are now ready to move on to section two, where we look at the Crazy Fly app in full detail. So click on complete and continue. Well done on completing section one. Now meet me in section two.